gonna do it up to like up to that line there so everything I'm gonna do this year I'm really trying to be intentional about it I really feel like I ignored makeup for a bit fuck that let me ruffle some feathers hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to today's video today we are pre-gaming and we are getting ready for a rave i am going to revolution which is my first rave of 2024 i have been a good girl i have been at home working very hard waking up early doing my yoga doing my good things it's time for me to be a degenerate and dance until 5 a.m to loud thumping we are getting ready and pre-gaming, which means we're gonna be making a little drink. And I'm gonna be showing you my makeup. I'm gonna be showing you my outfit, which is right there in the corner. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. First off, let's get this drink started. And I actually do not know what to call this cocktail, you guys. Well, let me know if this cocktail already exists. We are starting off with Bacardi rum. Gonna do it up to like, up to that line there. That might be a bit too much. Yeah. And then we are going to add Chi Exotic Pineapple and Coconut Nectar. It's going to be a, a kind of strong drink because half of it is frozen if you can't hear. Because now this is what we have. So it's like <laughs> equal parts. And then to top it off and give it a little bit of that lemon. Oops. Of that lemon lime flavor, we got some sprites. So I'm gonna put a bit of it since we don't have a lot of that nectar. And this is my pre-game drink. I actually do not know what to call this drink. Cardi rum, she exotic coconut and pineapple nectar with sprite. so good the coconut and pineapple really helps to play the alcohol down so you don't even it doesn't taste like alcohol basically it tastes like you're drinking juice the sprite is also coming in with the bubbliness and the lightness Mm. Ah, I have a nice little drink to sip as I get ready. The makeup look I'm going to be doing for Revolution is going to be really light, really airy. I'm using mostly cream products and I'm not even using a lot of products for today's look. I got some blue liquid liner right here and I also got this beautiful turquoise uh, use your shape pencil that we're going to be using to create this beautiful blue eye the first step of that is going to be the Maybelline concealer I'm gonna be putting a little bit of it on my eyes and blending it out to form a base for our eye look so my people how are we all doing how is 2024 so far i know some people are going to be like oh january was just simply a test run and february is when it's going to start for me january was like kind of laying down the groundwork for a lot of things that i want to do if you watch my previous video where i talked about the ways that i want to glow up one of the things i wanted to do was seo and i've already got started in seo in a major way i am going to start working with a colleague on a project that is very heavy seo involved so i'm pretty excited about that right now i'm simply using some loose powder to set the concealer see this is going to create a blank canvas for the blue liners to really pop I'm going to take the candid glow by Yanga Beauty and I'm going to just just a tiny bit something to give a little bit of you know shine shine to the eye taking it like that and just dusting it on the lid this will form a perfect background very understated it's not very obvious by the time you guys see this it should be day 20 what eight or day 27 i'm not sure my yoga journey is going very well and i've already put together a glute routine so as soon as i'm done with 30 day yoga challenge we're going straight into building the glutes building the thighs you know building a nice strong lower body this is the blossom makeup color crush eyeliner i actually have three of them i have it in blue in pink and in green this is what the tip of it looks like we're not doing a wing we are just lining the top lid there we go. So this is what I'm going for. Just a simple lined eye. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. That is so good. It's so dangerous, my god. All right, it's time to do the second eye. Ah! Oh my god. Oh god, and now my eyes are, ooh. It's not that bad. Eye isn't even like watering as bad as I thought. Right here's a little messy. 
but we'll roll with it. I remember like the last sweat it out I was at, I was really emotional. So I started crying and I was sweating. So my tears and my sweat really mixed in together. I was just a mess. So when I was outside and I was talking to somebody, he was like, do you usually wear makeup to raves? I was like, yeah, I do actually. And he's like, why? Isn't it hot and no one can see it? And I was like, you make a good point. But I dress up at raves for myself. I want to go to this event looking beautiful looking ethereal it's not a situation of i'm doing my makeup for somebody else to look at me i'm doing my makeup because this is how i want to represent myself at this event so yeah even though it's gonna be dark and uh there's gonna be flashing light not a lot of people are gonna see the makeup i'm still gonna do the makeup okay my eye is good we'll finish the face and then we'll go into the bottom lid with this pencil liner the face is gonna be very simple we are gonna be starting out with primer this is the new band of beauty mattifying primer and it's a silicone based primer and I have found it works really well with this foundation looking at my products I'm going to need to do a makeup restock a makeup haul soon some things I'm running out of some things need a replacement and some things I actually just want to try there are actually a couple of new products out in the market and by the way I got this comment on my TikTok. it made me nostalgic for you know the days I used to do product empties the beauty uh, routines and the looks and it's making me wonder should I bring those kind of videos back you know revitalize the channel and we're really trying to grow this year so everything I'm gonna do this year I'm really trying to be intentional about it so please my people let me know what you guys want to see from me I have a part two of best places to swim in Lagos coming up real soon I have another video that's kind of similar to that that I'm gonna execute probably in like March if I really want to have like every month a big video project that I put out and then I'll have the smaller ones that surround the big one if you've noticed I have been shaking my hand uh, because I like to shake my foundations before I get started I just feel like I don't use them all the time so like pigments will settle but yeah I just like to shake up my foundation so that you know the formula is nice and uh, homo 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 homogeneous homo, homo something are you homosexual a what? A homosexual. This is my foundation for today. This is the Chanel Les Beige um, Healthy Glue Foundation. If you want to see my review on this foundation, go ahead and click on the card in the corner. I have a review of this foundation where I, funny enough, took it to a rave, you know? As I was saying before, please let me know what videos you guys want to see from me. Should I bring back old school Dior product MT's videos? I actually want to get back into reviewing foundations as well. I might not be going out as much, but I do want to test out foundations and, you know, play with makeup more. I really feel like I ignored makeup for a bit blame it on the fact that i don't, just don't go out as much now that more rays are happening and i'm attending them i'm wearing more makeup so i think that would actually be like the perfect environment for me to test out like new foundations and stuff imagine i find a foundation that is able to withstand a rave rave and this is one of those foundations because when i wore this foundation when i tested this foundation it looks really good after a couple of hours i looked very healthy i looked very glowy it was very true to the name it will be really interesting to see if I can test out like one of those like oh mattifying long wear doesn't budge foundations to like a sweat it out that you know the music is designed to make you sweat. Will sweat it out win over the mattifying 18 hour wear foundation? I think like that would be a good um, a good way to review those foundations. Do let me know if that's what you want to see and let me know the foundations you want me to review you can just leave them in the comment section below and i'll look into um getting all those reviews done i told you that Dilla is back you should be checking out my shorts at the time of recording um just two more weeks left in the youtube shorts program and i hope i graduate i mean i've been doing everything that they've told me i should be doing if you're watching this video please just go like you know drop a like drop a comment on a couple of my shorts so that the youtube team sees 
you know there's engagement there is action there's things happening there i hope that my name is amongst the people that are to be graduating i've done everything which is like create content attend all the workshops i'm hopeful that i'm going to be graduating i get a youtube partner that's going to be like one of the best things that'll happen to me next up we're going back to our concealer and we're just going to be doing a little bit just like dots under the eyes mostly for brightening and not concealing Usually when I'm pre-gaming, I have music playing, but I'm here talking to you guys and I love that as well. I want to do more sit-down videos, more chit-chatty videos. I want to do videos on like trending topics, videos on like the shit that is going on out there. Because I have opinions on many things. I just keep them to myself because I'm like, I don't want to ruffle some feathers, but like, fuck that. Let me ruffle some feathers. Let me say some bullshit that no one is going to agree with. Because I've got opinions and they deserve to be heard. So we got that nice bright under eye look that we're going for and as i said we're going to be using mostly cream products so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be using the zarin liquid blush the cheeky liquid blush this is it right here and this is the shade negroni what's your drink of choice a negroni a little bit of this goes a long way so i have just a tiny dot like can you guys actually see i'm just gonna put it right on my cheek but i'm not gonna apply it like a regular blush what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring it up here we're going to a rave darling we're not going to a tea party and i'm using my fingers to blend it in the warmth of our fingers is really going to melt the product into the skin don't be afraid to use multiple fingers that's what she said isn't that really gorgeous like just the beautiful healthy like glow i look so healthy i look lit from within it's this foundation man this foundation really lives up to its name it really does give you that glowy look and where i'm applying the blush is directly under where the highlighter should be now i'm gonna use my beauty blender and press it into the skin if you're looking for a foundation that's gonna give you beautiful luscious glowing skin i highly recommend the chanel like it is so glowy it's so pretty if you watch my review the only words i kept on using was pretty 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 because the foundation legit made my skin look like really beautiful and really really pretty the next liquid product that we're going to be using for tonight's look is the maybelline master strobing liquid this is an oldie but a goodie and this is the shade the shade is a medium nude so we're gonna take a tiny bit of this and for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually use a brush i'm going to use this tiny lancome brush and why because it's really small it's really packed and it's slanted so it's going to be the perfect brush to apply right where i want it to be which is right here take the product off the back of my hand so we're doing the cheekbones and right under the blush so it's right there as you can see if this exaggerated makeup is a little bit too much for you i'm sorry darling we're going to a rave we're going to hear thumping beats <laughs> see the highlighter you can see the blush by the time my body warms up the liquid products will really become more announced the glowiness will glow and i'm gonna be popping so i'm using my beauty blender just to blend everything together what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below what you guys think now we are actually going to use some powder just a little bit of powder even though we're not going for a matte look i do want to set my skin so i'm taking the maybelline loose finishing powder right here one of my favorite finishing powders and i'm gonna use that to set the skin very light set not a heavy heavy set dusting from here and then dusting it back here so we're not going for a very heavy hand as we set the skin even though we set the skin you can still see the the glowiness now that we're done with the face we're going to finish up the eyes i'm going to be taking the yves rocher um what is this called botanical color jumbo and this is the shade turquoise agave and i'm going to be using it to line my waterline this turquoise liner is going to complement the blue liner so we got light blue and we got turquoise before i put on mascara i like to set my face i'm going to be setting it with the new Bem beauty seal it makeup fixing spray now i'm just using the beauty blender 
to blend everything together so it looks nice and beautiful we are now finishing up the eyes this is the Too Faced better than sex mascara lashes will pop against that baby blue trying my best not to poke my eye out with the mascara so when you're applying your top lashes do this bottom lashes do that years of having short lashes have taught me all the tricks on how to get your lashes to look nice and full that is beautiful I love it. I love it so much. Final pieces of the look. We're almost there. Now we're just gonna do the lips. This is the Zarin Lip Liner in the shade Cappuccino. Because the eyes are the star of the show, we are not going to take away the lips or the face. Oh, it's been so long since I've been kissed. This is the Zarin Max Action Lip Gloss in the shade Pink Pearl. I feel like for this look, the gloss balm, the Fenty gloss balm, which I really love, is too muted. It's like, you know, a little too brown, but this is pink. So this pink is really going to add a little bit of color to the rest of the face. And that is it for my makeup look for this evening. I'm gonna get changed and then I'll show you what I'm wearing. This is what I'm gonna be wearing for Revolution. I decided I wanted to keep it simple. Going for a simple orange dress from Spice of Lagos and flats from Slides of Worry. This is a close up of the finished look. Very glowy, very lit from within. I love how the blue pops. And of course, I'm going to be carrying my fanny pack that contains all my necessities. I absolutely love the way I look. I look very glowy i look very beautiful very lit from within you're looking gorgeous it's a friday night ah oh, it fits already first month of the year already down cheers to the rest of 2024 thank you guys so so much for watching today's video i truly truly appreciate it please do not forget to dance over to the subscribe button so you can join the Diola Adebe family here on YouTube. Do not forget to groove to the beat, to the notification bell, so that you always get notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Do not forget to throw your hands in the air to the like button, so that you tell YouTube that this video is awesome and you should recommend this video to other people as well. Do not forget to be awesome and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!